What's up guys? So I want to talk about being super hyper aware or hypersensitive to bodily sensations or symptoms associated with anxiety, more in particular health anxiety or hypochondria. Go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt and leave me a comment down there as well and let me know is this something that you struggle with? Although chances are if you're watching this or have any type of anxiety disorder, you've at least dealt with it a little bit. I dealt with it all five years of my anxiety disorder days. All five years, all of them. Um, from the very beginning all the way to the end, um, it was terrible. It was something that is it, very common, uh, especially if you suffer from anxiety, but um, it was just something that plagued me. It often led me into panic, uh, led me to the doctor or ER, you know, numerous appointments, numerous tests, or led me searching on Google. It was kind of like the meat and potatoes of my health anxiety, was just being super aware of what was going on with my body not only self-examining, but just feeling. I was feeling things that were normal that I didn't feel before, um, and I would freak out about them. And of course, uh, anxiety produces you know hundreds and hundreds of symptoms, if not more, not if, if not thousands of little sensations and symptoms. And I would blow those up and magnify them. So it all started, you know, with that first panic attack, and I thought I was having a heart attack. And then I had this crazy fear of having heart problems or heart disease. So a lot of my sensitivity was focused around my chest, and it was focused around my heartbeat and my blood pressure. So I was very aware. Um, I, I got to the point where I was so good, I didn't even have to touch myself to even figure out what my pulse was. Um, there was a few things that scared me that I kind of want to talk about, which are kind of, I don't I'm not going to say it's super funny, but now that I don't deal with that anymore, I can look back and chuckle. Um, but there were things that I didn't notice before, but they happened to me now still, but I just didn't notice them before anxiety. I, I focused in so much and, and examined myself so much. I was so aware of what was going on that I figured them out. So the first one is, is the greatest. And the funny thing about this is that I've seen a few of you guys actually post uh, concerns about this. I was like, wow, man, there's the other, there were some other people still, I know we relate a lot with a lot of these symptoms, but there, there will always still be a symptom or two that surprises me that other people dealt with. And this is one of them. I was laying down and I looked at my stomach and I could see it bounce and it was my heart heartbeat. And I freaked out. I literally thought that I was about to die of a heart attack, that something bad was happening. Um, and I was like, oh my God, I had this terrible blood pressure problem. Um, so yeah, that was what was going on with that. Um, that freaked the crap out of me. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know how I got through that night. I had panic attacks all night. Um, something else that I noticed that I still notice is I can see my pulse on my neck. Um, I don't even have to feel there. I could just see it, you know, with my heartbeat. And that also freaked the crap out of me. And I thought that, um, you know, I had a horrible blood pressure problem. Now, the thing is that I didn't, you know, take into factor was not only are those two things normal and a lot of people can see them, and I was fairly thin at the time, so it wasn't that hard to see, um, but I had a faster heart rate than the average person because of my anxiety. I had higher blood pressure than the average person because of my anxiety. So, I mean, those things would make me more prone to, to seeing something like that, but at the same time, like I said, I still see it today, and my blood pressure is normal, so and my heart rate's normal as well. So I just it's just funny to me that I didn't notice those things before, but when I saw them, I freaked out. It just goes to show that anxiety can make us just be so freaking aware and in touch with our bodies. So that was something that I would deal with. Um, something else, guys, that whenever you're focusing and you're super aware of your symptoms, you become more hypersensitive to them. Um, it's kind of like negative thinking. The more negative you think, the harder it is to accomplish anything or to ever get out of that funk. Uh, the more I would focus on my chest pain, I could literally focus muscle tension in a certain area and it would get tighter and more tense by me just literally focusing on it. And then I would focus on my left arm because I was scared that uh, since I would have tingling and stuff that I would have left arm pain and then the tension would get tighter in my arm and I would actually start feeling pain there as well. It is so amazing. It is so amazing. The symptoms are real. I'm not imagining them, really. All I'm doing is I'm focusing my muscle tension in certain areas. I could do that everywhere. Anywhere that I would focus in on. And that that's amazing, guys. You know, that's amazing. It answers a lot of questions for people. You can actually, and I mean, that was just me. I don't know if anybody else is, is in touch with their body as I was. 
but I literally could like look at an area of my body and, and start uh, causing tension there, muscle tension. It's amazing. Um, and then we get into these patterns where, you know, our mind can almost be trained for that. And it's just like this crazy training course in the beginning of our anxiety when it's really digging in deep to our subconscious. Um, but guys, if you're going through this, it's normal. Um, it's hard uh, to get out of that and to not focus. Um, it's kind of like you got to train yourself and do that with therapy or CBT. You can look up some methods online and work with yourself on that. I think doing meditation um, and uh, positive affirmations will help you with that. But um, it's a long, grueling process. It was something that really held me back for a long time. Um, it just, it was, it was a nightmare. So if you're going through that, guys, my heart goes out to you. I'm gonna end it on that note, but guys, down in the description, there are tons of tips that I give, my whole process for anxiety, so make sure you follow that. You can get through this, keep fighting each and every day. Make sure to like this video if you got any value. Today was just kind of more of a, you know, I just wanted to share a couple things with you kind of thing, um, just to let you guys know that you're not alone with this. Um, it was just one of the more crazy things about anxiety was just how in tune with my body and, and, and symptoms and sensations, some normal, some not so normal, but uh, it was crazy how much it freaked me out. All my resources for anxiety are also down below in the description and also my social media. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now and, and hit that notification bell so you get updates when I put these videos out. I have tons of videos on various mental health uh, topics. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the evening. Excuse me.